Hard actually really work. Put down Campbell. Put down this. Need a couple of them. Need to hit critical mass here. One little dooders. Keep this Campbell. Get a couple of Campbells. Ba 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 douche. Uh, he's down to nine, but that is not all. Cause we also have this. That's insane. And we get him with the Campbell. <laughs> we get him with the Campbell. Campbell is genius. It fits perfectly into the deck. What a genius plan. I mean, this is a million damage. You have to do this, right? We do. Oh, 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 oh. Wizards keep doing the same mistakes over and over. Buffing the Rattata Brick deck. What a mistake. And the Ornithopter deck. How can they do that? Aren't they already overpowered? Well, we'll find out today. Because today we've got a new addition to the Rattata Brick deck. If you haven't seen this card, uh, other zombies you control have vigilance. Whenever a legendary creature you control dies, you create a token that's a copy of that creature, except it's not legendary and it's a 2 2 black zombie in addition to its other colors and types. And the important card to know to play with the Rattata Brick is, of course, Blade of Shared Souls. It has for Mirrodin, so you get a token that equips on this immediately. Whenever Blade of Shared Souls becomes attached to a creature, for as long as it's attached to it, you may have that creature become a copy of another target creature, so that becomes a copy of Rattata Brick, and you get a copy, and then you need something else. You need one more creature, and then you attach it to that, and you put it on Rattata Brick, and then you get more Rattata Bricks, and then you can just copy, you can target one of the copies of Rattata Brick, make it a copy of Rattata Brick, and then you get more Rattata Bricks, and more Rattata Bricks, and more Rattata Bricks, and more Rattata Bricks. And if you also have a Kalein, you can do this infinite, and you have an infinite combo with that, so that's kind of good. But the new card that we're adding here is gonna be Kemball. Actually, a couple of new cards. Kemball Profiteering Mayor, which says the following. Whenever one or more tokens enter the battlefield under your opponent's control, for each of them create a tap token that's a copy of it. This is just a sneaky, fun thing, but it doesn't matter. Uh, whenever one or more tokens enter the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. And of course, Kemball is gonna be a token, because we're gonna, of course, target it with Blade of Shared Soul, so it comes back as a copy, and they just stack up on each other, because every other Kemball adds this damage. And you probably saw all this in the intro, but anyways. So that's one card. Then I realized we actually don't need to play separate tutors. I mean, it's... Still, <laughs> you gotta see in the game, it's still kind of good to play more tutors, but Crucia's Titan of the Waves is a legendary creature that can always search for a Tartar Brick if you don't have anything that costs more than three in the deck. Because it says the following, at the beginning of the end step, you may discard a card if you do create a trash token, great. And you choose um, uh, Ambitious or Expedient, if you choose Ambitious, you seek a card with greater mana value. Since we have so many things for tr three, we're always gonna be able to pitch something and pick up the Tartar Brick. And then we already have a legendary creature, which can attach the Blade of Shared Souls to, to get going. So we essentially need this, Rotata Brick, Blade of Shared Souls, and we're good to go, essentially. Smeagol is very good. First of all, because it's hilarious to take all your opponent's lands, but also, whenever... Uh, let's see here. At the beginning we end step, if a creature died under your control this turn, the ring tempts you. Whenever the ring tempts you, you get a chance to make something legendary. And you probably already have a lot of Rattata Brick tokens, and when you make them legendary, they create more Rattata Brick tokens, and more Rattata Brick tokens, and more Rattata Bricks. So it's another way of just getting the combo going, essentially, with Smingle. Then I've also put in Sahili, the Sun's Brilliance, which can create a token that's a copy of another creature, so you can copy Rattata Brick. Unfortunately, it's a little bit slow. It costs two manas. And it's just it's just the worst sword in most cases, but it is fine. Uh, Magda just to get a little bit more mana because this deck is usually a little bit slow, and what you're mostly lacking in most games is gonna be enough mana to actually play all these expensive cards. So we have Magda also. We're trying out Tiny Bones just because we're playing Mox Amber, and that's pretty much it. Relic of Lost Legends, as per usual. Let's jump into the game. Kemba, all you see here will one day belong to you. Because I'm going to pass away. Somehow I know this already in the beginning of the Lion King, but whatever. Whatever, how did I know that? Foreshadowing. Let's put down this. Is this fore foreshadowing if they just tell you what's going to happen before it has happened? Is that really foreshadowing? I don't know. <laughs> Feels like we have foreshadowing at home. <laughs> Meanwhile, foreshadowing at home. Well, for what foreshadowing is at home? Anything you have at home is always worse than things you can buy in the store. I don't know why. I don't know why that is the case. But that is how it is, okay? Orators in the stators. So, 
Do we now? Gamble on him not blocking the Magda and play Rotata Brick. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna block the Magda. Is he? <laughs> I think he's gonna block the Magda. I don't think he's gonna block the Magda. I don't think it's happening. It's not happening. He's not gonna block it. He's not blocking it. I, I, I said it. <laughs> I knew he wasn't gonna block. Of course not. Why would you block the the, the freaking Magda now? That's horrible. You shouldn't do that. Mm, you could play another Magda. And get another Magda. But is that really worth it? I mean, what else are we gonna do with two of these? Eh, eh, I'll do it. Tap this for red. Badoosh, play another. Uh, tap this for red. Play another Magda. Ba -ba 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 -noink. Keep this Magda. And get another Magda! We have so many Magdas! <laughs> There's so much manas, but we don't have the sword. We need the sword. Or Sahili. The Shlilis. Ooh, once and future sword. Looking dangerous. Can we somehow? Smeagol! Smeagol! <laughs> we need Smeagol. Let's hear. If we put down Smeagol, we can attack him with one Magda. Definitely. Unfortunately, nothing is gonna die here. Um, but that's fine. I'll go in with both of these. Get some treasures. Is he now gonna block though? That's a question. No, still nothing blocking. Then Smeagol doesn't trigger. But if we play this, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We will we'll play him anyways. Let's see how this works out. Because it might work out. We'll find out if it works out. We'll see. Okay, the sword on the angel, going in big schmackalackas, protection from everything, join the dance, the dance, oh, oh, by the way, <laughs> then we get tokens, <laughs> forgot about that little, little trigger there, okay, we're not the 15, and he gets a surveil and he can cast an instant or sorcery with mana value 2 or less from his graveyard, okay, so how often does this trigger, with one more token, hmm, uh, uh, the, this one, I mean, <laughs> it's only end stuff. Oh, there it is, though! There's the Shlahili, a little bit late. A little bit late, we'll say. Let's see, attack in with you. I mean, just need to force him to block with something. Something needs to die for things to happen here, okay. Create a couple of uh, tokens. Bashnoons. See what it does about this. Does it do a little bit of blocking, maybe? Okay, so one uh, one thing to start off the combat would have been great to the sword, but you can't always get the sword. Unless you put uh, more tutors in there, which we could maybe do. We could maybe consider that. We'll see. Jesus. Blukes, blukes. Okay, but that means something is gonna die. Which is great. Okay, blocks there. Blocks there. Blo he blocks everywhere. A lot of blockers, but that means at the end step we can shoot something. And we can get a lot of dudes here also. That's it. End step. That's it. Ring bearer. That's gonna be... This is the only thing which is not legendary. Okay. Badoosh. A land. And that didn't do much. But so soon we're gonna do things. Things are gonna happen. I'm telling you. Things are gonna happen. Maybe put in a tutor for the sword. Maybe. <laughs> so it's a little bit slow without the sword. With the sword you're just pooping oof, you know. You're pooping oof. But without the sword, not the shaft, not the shaft in hand, things are a little bit slow. Angel of Vitality, though. I mean, you need the smack, sir. You had the sword, you had the angel. Just need to go in. Or you just place a board wipe. In which case, we're done, because we have copied Rotata Brick zero times. But we're gonna copy it, of course, next turn with the Shlilis. The Shlililis. It's gonna happen. Very, 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 very soon. Legendary token, Dwarf Berserker, Zombie. Still makes sense. Honestly. If you compare to all the mutators out there. Jesus Salvador. He's about to do something. He's heating up. No! Hame, hame! Ha! Celebrity Fencer. Okay. Sure. I'm a little bit on the fence with this card. 
And then he showed himself out. Okay. My turn! Okay, no attacks. Interesting. That thing there, though, needs a copy. And, uh... Get a couple of things there. Good, now I can go in with you and you. And you. And... <sighs> Can't problem. That's awesome. To be fair. To be fair, I had the Brick Lords. Just need to go in. Big smack us! Big, big lack us! Okay, blocks there. That's a good block. Very, very good block. We will not get anything for that dying. Smeagol, though, will come back. That's very good for us. Okay, bop, 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 bop. But then, double Smeagol. And we end the turn. And Lord, let's see, Ring Bearer. So if we make this guy into a Ring Bearer, uh, and then we keep this guy, then we should get a couple of bricks. Oh, but we only get... Let's see, we... Yeah, we need one more Atada Brick for this to work. Uh, ring leader, so we can choose... Uh, we, sh we choose Smeagol. Smeagol can be the guy. That's okay. A lot of things happening here. A lot of lands on our side. But again, no sword, so... <laughs> so very slow. <laughs> We're winning, but very, very slowly. At the slowest of paces. We're pulling ahead, I feel like. Slow and steady wins the race. Not need to win turn two. Okay. Now we're all gonna get just another Atala Brick, which we can make legendary again with Smeagol, so... Shouldn't be a problem, but he might have double removal. Probably doesn't, but he could theoretically have double removal. He has two more manas. Okay. That thing is gone, and he gets a Scry. One. Very important that they printed a Scry one with this. Also could maybe put a plus counter on the creature, because why not? Why not, I say? What lands did we get from him? Do you have any interesting lands? Nah, nah. You got him, though. No. I know what you might be asking. Did you put in more tutors, as you said you were gonna do? <laughs> no, no, I didn't do that, but uh, I thought about it. Then I thought, this time we're just gonna get it. <laughs> so, so we don't need the tutors. We're, we're, probably, we're probably just gonna find this one. To be honest. Also, I'm a little bit saddened today, because I had such a good combo. Such a good combo. I thought about it, and 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 I sat down. Ooh, what did I say? We're gonna find the sword. Trust in Jesus, and this, uh, more than anything, trust in this sword. Then, if, if there's any trust left, trust in Jesus also, that's okay. Oh, you may exile a non-land card. Oh, no, 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 that's not good. Deep Cavern Bat is gonna wreck us. If it takes Rotata Brick... He, he just... One or three Kalanes! <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why you did that, sir. Why did you take a little bit of three Kalanes? The legendary! <laughs> sir! <laughs> Can he only choose? What is this? No? He could have, sh could have chosen any card. <laughs> what? <laughs> that middle one, sir. I want that one. Okay. Okay. I don't know, maybe he has more. Maybe he's gonna own us anyways. That could that, that could have actually been the reason. The reason he took that could have been because he has another deep cavern bat. And he knew that the only thing I could play on my next turn anyways is gonna be the Kalein. Right. So now, now I'm just making fun of him, but he could have just actually played this very smartly. Yeah, the combo. I was talking... I was talking about the combo, wasn't I? Was that in a past life or something? So I had a really good combo. Here was the combo that I was planning on, but which then turned out that it didn't work. There's a legendary creature for two mana. Oh, he just passed the turn. Legendary creature for two manas, which makes plotting cost two less. And then there's Fabalepatup, which says whenever you, uh, you, you, can, uh, you can play the top card. The top card is always plotted and it's revealed. So I thought you could play your entire deck with this. But it turns out that that legendary creature says from your hand. So you can't play from the top of your library because you always already thought about this. And you were it was gonna be way too much fun. And they hate when people have fun. That's the worst thing for wizards. Are you are you having fun? No! 
Each opponent sacrifices a creature. Okay, I mean, it has to be this, because then we get another Deuters. And a treasure, so that's kind of nice. That is kind of nice. Kind of liking that. Okay, smacks in. If we find a land now, we're in good shape. Mm, but if we play this, and then we play the sword, don't we almost win? Or am I thinking a little bit... No, no, we don't win. We need, we need two more mana. Oh, whatever, whatever, whatever. That's close. That's close. That's close, brain. We did a closey. Take action. Keep this one. Get one little dooders. Smack a lack. He's down to 15, but now, if he plays another Tiding Blade. That's, that's kind of a decent card, I've got to say. You can craft. And at the beginning of your upkeep, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. That's not the strongest of abilities, but... When it enters the battlefield, each opponent sacrifices a creature. That's pretty good. I don't know that the craft is, like, top tier. But I think the, the card is, uh, is decent. What I was saying. I was to say. The art, art check here. Uh, I don't know. That butter knife. <laughs> that green butter knife, man. Give me the old cards. Why? I think they would make so much money. It's essentially free money. Here is all wizards need to do. They print a set. They don't need to reprint any cards from alpha and beta and revised and all those sets. They don't need to reprint them, but just the art. The same art style, one set, the exact same art style as the old cards. And it can be called like... Uh, alpha, Beta... I don't know, Omega! Yeah, let's call it Omega! <laughs> That's not the next letter. Yeah, yeah, sure, 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 but whatever. Let's call it Omega. They call the set Omega... Because it's Omega Lulz. And all the cards have the old art and the old frame. My god, it's so much could make so much money from this oh oh why don't they hire me if they, oh, they, they hate money i guess okay sure and uh, now we're gonna take you and we're gonna put you on you i'm gonna get two uh which one do we want to keep we want to keep you and badish banoink uh that's not enough you're, you're not gaining manas you say yep we're not gaining manas Yet. <laughs> but soon we will. If we play this... And we now copy... Now that does uh, Frack! <laughs> Frack, we're close! We were so close! We needed one land. But we, we got him anyways. New card alert! New card alert! We're playing Crucius! Titan of the Waves. I should never play that before. I think it's a really good card. Huh? Sure, sure, we need three. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Of course we need three of them. I mean, on the other hand, we can discard one to one, so it doesn't matter. I mean, two would have been enough. Because then we can discard one to the other. A lot of three drops here, but we have a lot of three drops in the deck, I guess. And we got almost all of them. <laughs> Chris, Chris the Bitter is what they call me. Where I come from. Discard uh, a Crucius. And the Greater. There it is. That felt good. That felt really good. And if we could have played this turn two of a Mox Amber, that would have felt even better. Pacifism. Okay, he's not moving. He's staying there. Plaza of Heroes. Put it down. We're about to poop oof. Do we now ship a Crucius? I think we ship a Crucius. Do we go Brick? I think we go for another Brick. Reason being, if he kills the brick, we kind of done otherwise. But we can play a brick and then play a blade. And if we play a brick and play a blade... I mean, on the other hand, we have the blade. Oh, we have two blades now. Uh, we, we got him. That was pretty good. Uh, copy you. Take action. Keep you. Get a copy. But there is another blade! Wait. Oh, we have the mana. It's fine. <laughs> that was close. It's close, but it's fine. You there, sir. Take action. Keep you. And we get two more. Bump, 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 bump. And, uh, well, almost. <laughs> we don't have anything which gives manas, unfortunately. But that's gonna happen next turn, I'm sure. 
Uh, might as well smack him with this. Big damage. Down to 17. Do we go for another brick? We could ask, actually ship this and go lesser. I mean, we have to do that now. I don't know if that was any good. <laughs> oh, but we did. Whatever. Whatever. It's fine. I didn't do anything, but it's fine. Resplendisant. Okay. Unexpected. Okay. Minus three. Another Gala Greeters, maybe. Get the triplets. Okay. Brutal Cathar. Oh. Now we can't take just. Oh, they have ward all of them. But they can take Crucius. He's already a little bit pacified, but now he's. Oh, he's completely gone, you know. Okay. Gala Greeters. But I think we gotta get easy. Kemble. Kemble. <laughs> We're about to see the new card actually really work. Put down Campbell. Put down this. You need a couple of them. You need to hit critical mass here. One little duders. Keep this Campbell. Get a couple of Campbells. Ba 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 uh, He's down to nine, but that is not all. Because we also have this. That's insane. And we get him with the Campbell. <laughs> we get him with the Campbell. Campbell is genius. Fits perfectly into the deck. What a genius plan. I mean, this is a million damage. You have to win this, right? We do. Oh, 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 oh. Hello, Daniel. And you are? It's -a me, the YouTube algorithm. And well, what are you doing here? I'm just here to take those views. No, the. Those are my views! Oh, I can explain to you, senor. You see, you have subs uh, 0% and non-subs uh, 100%. That's why you can take all your views. <laughs> I guess it's time that you uh, check out a little, little thing down there.